let's create a color library to add color options to our personalization. With color libraries, you can store color lists to then apply them to different elements of your product, such as text or vectors. Create a new library, and then click Edit to open it. Click Add Color, pick a color from the dialog, and click Create. You can add as many color options as you'd like. If you want to add a specific color, you can use the hex value or the RGB and CMYK values. Now that we have the color library ready, let's create a font library. This will be used to give font options to our product's custom text. Give it a name and click Edit to open it. Start adding fonts to the library with Add Font. And pick the font from the list. The fonts that show on the list are the ones you have already uploaded into your custom user. If you want to add a new font to the list, just click the Upload Font button and choose the TTF or OTF file you want to use. As soon as you upload it, the font will be available on the list for you to choose it. You can add as many font options as you like. Now that libraries are ready, the next thing to do is create your personalization template. Head to the next video to continue.